Lesson 5.2b, In Center Theorem and Inscribed Circles. We're also going to talk about angle bisectors. A triangle has three angles, so it has three angle bisectors. The angle bisectors of a triangle are concurrent, which means they intersect at one point. This point of concurrency is the in center of the triangle. So AP bisects angle A, BP bisects angle B, and CP bisects angle C, the in center is the point at which the angle bisectors meet. Right there, point P. An inscribed circle is a circle placed within a polygon that touches each side of the polygon at one spot. And each side of the polygon is tangent to the circle. This is tangent to the circle, this is tangent to the circle, and this one. And the in center is the center of the circle. That's the in center of the triangle. Doesn't matter what type of triangle it is. The in center is the center of the inscribed circle. So for your notes, that brings us to 5.2.2, the in center theorem. The in center of a triangle is equidistant from the sides of the triangle. So P, right here, PX, we can see that's seven centimeters. PY is seven centimeters and PZ is seven centimeters. The in center of a triangle is equidistant from the sides of the triangle. Unlike the circumcenter, the in center is always inside the triangle. The in center is the center of the triangle's inscribed circle. And remember, the distance between a point and a line is the length of the perpendicular segment from the point to the line. And the distance from P to a side of the triangle is the radius of the inscribed circle. We can find the in center of a triangle by finding where at least two angle bisectors meet, or three for more accuracy. We can construct the angle bisectors with a compass and a straight edge, or measure an angle with a protractor and divide the measure by two. If we use a protractor, we can just measure this and if it's 60 degrees, we can mark a point at 30 degrees, 60 divided by 2 is 30, and then just use our straight edge to draw the angle bisector. And we learned in video 1.3, which is linked in this description, that we can put our compass on A, make an arc, then we can label this P and Q or X and Y, whatever we want. We put the compass right here, we make a little arc, we put it on this one, we make a little arc, and where they meet, we draw our line straight through that, our angle bisector with a straight edge. And we do this for each angle of the triangle, and where those bisectors meet is going to be the in center. Using properties of angle bisectors, we can find an unknown measure. So we have an unknown measure right here in this angle. JV this pink line, and KV, this pink line, are angle bisectors of triangle JKL. We need to find the distance V to KL, and later on we're going to find this angle measure. We can see V to W is 7.3 centimeters, and V is the in-center of triangle JKL, and by the in-center theorem, V is equidistant from the sides of triangle JKL. So if this is 7.3 centimeters, this must be 7.3 centimeters. And actually, if we drew a perpendicular line right here, that would also be 7.3 centimeters. So now let's find this angle measure, the measure of angle VKL. And the measure of angle KJL K, J, L is equal to 2 times 19 degrees. So that, because that's an angle bisector, that's 19 degrees and that's 19 degrees. So we know that the measure of angle K, J, L 
this entire angle is 38 degrees. We also know the triangle sum theorem tells us the interior angles of a triangle are 180 degrees. So if that's 38 degrees and that's 106 degrees, we can add the measures to get 180 degrees. We have 38 plus 106, that's 144. If we add this angle right here, the 144 plus that angle measure should be 180 degrees. We can subtract the 144 from each side to find that JKL, this big angle right here, should be 36 degrees. This is an angle bisector, so VKL is going to be half of 36 degrees. The measure of angle VKL is equal to half the measure of angle JKL. If that's 36 degrees, it's half the measure of 36 degrees, it's 18 degrees. A town wants to plant a tree in the park between three streets, the same distance from each street. So we have a map, we have Main Street and Elm Street and Oak Street. They want to plant a tree in this park, this triangular park, so that it's the same distance from each street. And by the in-center theorem, the in-center of a triangle is equidistant from the sides of the triangle. We can find the in-center. We can draw the three-angle bisectors to find the in-center. Measuring each angle of the triangular park, or drawing angle bisectors using a compass, we find and draw the angle bisectors. This one's 38 degrees, this one's 64, so this one's 78. So we know the angle bisector is going to come through here, so that's 19 degrees and that's 19 degrees. That's 64, so the angle bisector is going to come between them, so that's 32 and that's 32. That's 78 degrees, so the angle bisector is going to come between them, so that's 39 and that's 39. Sorry about the focus there. And the point at which the angle bisectors meet will be the in-center of the triangle, which will be equidistant from the sides. And the in-center is where they should plant the tree to be the same distance from each street. So remember, the point of concurrency of those angle bisectors is the in-center of the triangle. And remember, an inscribed circle is a circle placed within a polygon, and it touches each side, and the in-center is the center of the circle. Remember, the in-center is equidistant from the sides of the triangle. Remember, we can use properties of angle bisectors so we can find unknown measures. And remember that video 1.3 is linked in the description if you want to remember how to construct an angle bisector. Our next lesson, 5.3a, we're going to talk about the centroid theorem and how to construct a centroid. I hope you're doing well, I hope you're staying safe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!